This video introduces the fundamentals of supercritical fluid chromatography, SFC in short. We will first touch on the principles of SFC before covering the configuration of Nixera SFC. Then, an application of SFC will be shared before we end the video. First, the principles of SFC. Before we introduce SFC, we may take a look at its counterpart HPLC. HPLC is usually used for the separation and quantitation of a wide range of compounds in various samples. In HPLC, depending on reversed or normal phase, different mobile phases will be used. However, the more commonly utilized reverse phase requires the use of pure water and polar organic solvents as its mobile phase. Keeping this in mind, we will now see how does this compares to SFC. So what is SFC? SFC is a separation technique similar to gas and liquid chromatography that uses a supercritical fluid such as carbon dioxide as the mobile phase. A supercritical fluid is a liquid or a gas which is used above its critical temperature and pressure. For carbon dioxide, above its critical temperature of 31.1 degrees Celsius and critical pressure of 7.78 MPa, it changes into a supercritical fluid. Although SFC technology has existed for a long time, due to recent advancements in SFC instrument and column technologies, it is just beginning to be used for regular lab use and measurements. As seen from the phase diagram, above the critical temperature of 31.1 degrees Celsius and critical pressure of 7.78 MPa, CO2 becomes a supercritical fluid which can be used as the mobile phase in SFC analysis. There are many solvents which could be used as the supercritical mobile phase in SFC. However, CO2 is still the most commonly used due to the following reasons. Firstly, when using CO2, the SFC operating conditions is relatively milder compared to when solvents like ethanol and water with high critical temperatures above 200 degrees Celsius are used. Secondly, CO2 is safer as it is non-toxic and non-flammable unlike highly flammable compounds like ethane and ethylene. Next, depressurizing will easily vaporize CO2 after sample analysis, leaving no solvent residue behind. Also, the addition of miscible modifier solvents like methanol, ethanol and acetonitrile will easily adjust the polarity of CO2 as a mobile phase extending the SFC analysis to a larger range of compounds with varying polarities. Lastly, it is relatively environmentally friendly as liquefied CO2 can be obtained as a byproduct of fermentation processes. Neat CO2 is mainly used for the extraction of hydrophobic and nonpolar molecules. However, for polar compounds and ions, Modifier solvents are added to CO2 to increase the polarity of the mobile phase to aid in the separation and extraction process. Typical modifier solvents include methanol, acetonitrile, ethanol and other polar solvents. In the method development for the SFC analysis of the drug compound omeprazole, a chiral gastric acid suppressant, three modifier solvents were added to the mobile phase to optimize the resolution of the chiral pair compounds. The individual SFC chromatograms are shown here, displaying the effects of different modifier solvents on the peaks obtained. Retention time, peak shape and resolution will be greatly affected by a change in the modifier solvent used. We will now move on to the configuration of Nixera SFC. Here we can see a diagrammatic overview of a SFC system coupled with a mass spectrometer detector. The mobile phase is delivered from a pump which draws carbon dioxide from an external gas cylinder. If needed, the carbon dioxide mobile phase may be mixed with polar modifier solvents to adjust the polarity of the mobile phase. The sample from the auto sampler then mixes with the mobile phase, enters the column, undergoes separation, and finally enters the PDA detector. Depending on the detector required, either the PDA or MS can be used, if not both. A back pressure regulator is positioned downstream the PDA detector to maintain the pressure of the flow channels by opening or closing valves in response to any pressure fluctuations. The presence of a back pressure regulator hence prevents the vaporization of the supercritical carbon dioxide mobile phase and keeps it in a supercritical state. Lastly, in the case of MS detection, a makeup solution is pumped prior to MS to increase sensitivity and to prevent precipitation within the flow channels. 
As supercritical carbon dioxide is unsuitable for ionization, a makeup solvent is especially important in MS detection. The latest Nixera SFC model is shown here, with LC40 Nixera UHPLC coupled with a LCMS8050 system. As the Nixera SFC system performs a split less transfer of analytes from the SFC into the coupled MS, the detection sensitivity of the MS is greatly enhanced. Various Nixera SFC systems such as the one shown here can be configured by adding a newly developed SFC CO2 solvent delivery unit and a back pressure regulator to a base Nixera UHPLC. Other systems may also be configured. Such systems include SFC UV system and SFC PDA method scouting system. Lastly, we will look at an application of SFC. In this application of SFC, we will be introducing the analysis of vitamins, an essential nutrient. Depending on their solubilities, vitamins are principally classified into water-soluble and fat-soluble groups. As these two groups possess different chemical properties, multiple chromatographic systems are commonly employed to analyze the water-soluble and fat-soluble vitamins separately. For this SFC application, we will look at fish samples and how 17 water-soluble and fat-soluble vitamins can be simultaneously analyzed using a novel SFC MSMS method. In this SFC MSMS method, a Nixera UHPLC coupled with a LCMS8050 system is used. After screening, a biphenyl column was selected and the following mobile phases were used. Gradient elution was utilized, with the percentage of methanol rammed up to 90% to provide separation of both fat and water-soluble vitamins. These are the MRM chromatograms of eight water-soluble vitamin standards such as vitamin B1, B3 amide, B5 and B12, as well as the nine fat-soluble vitamin standards such as vitamin A, E, K1 and D2, all with a concentration of 250 nanogram per milliliter. A CBAS sample was analyzed using the established SFC MSMS method. Both water-soluble and fat-soluble vitamins were detected in the CBAS sample, with their individual MRM chromatogram shown here. SFC is a separation method beginning to be used in regular lab measurements and analyses, including preparative SFC. With its high speed, peak resolution and environmental friendliness, Nixera SFC can be applied to various fields and purposes. In summary, the working principle is that SFC uses supercritical carbon dioxide as a mobile phase, offering efficient separations using differing analyte affinities. Cutting-edge instrumentation enhances SFC capabilities through precise control, high sensitivity, and robust performance. Diverse applications in pharmaceuticals, natural products, food and environmental analysis, highlighting the versatility and effectiveness of SFC methodology. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. Excellence in science. Shimazu.